Hi guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have an introduction to a brand new project pan that I am joining. This is the 50 Shades of Pink project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab, and this was started by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. Of course, I will have them all linked down below, as well as a link to the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. If you guys are project panners and you wanna join, there's a couple questions you need to answer, and then they will have you, let you join the group. It's a great group of ladies and we have lots of fun projects that we're working on. I will also have in the description box below a link to everybody else who's participating in this project so you can go watch their videos as well. So the basic premise behind this project pan was to pick 50 items that you wanna work on across the year. It starts April 15th, goes till April 15th of next year. And so long as these items either had pink packaging, the product itself was pink, where it had pink in the name, you could put it in this project. So what I decided to do for my items was I split it in half. I have 25 makeup items and then 25 non-makeup items. The first thing that I did when trying to pick my products was I went through all of my non-cruelty free items and if they had pink, I pulled them into here because I wanna to try to use those up first. And out of the 50 items, 31 of these are non-cruelty free. So that's gonna put a huge dent in working through all the products that I need to get through. The other thing I did was I put multiples from several of the categories in here. That way I could spread out my progress across the year and not finish everything up pretty quickly like I'm doing in one of my other project pans. So I'm trying to make it so that this lasts the entire year, but also it uh, challenges myself as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'll show you all the products I've put in here. A lot of these are brand new. If they're not, I will let you know which items aren't brand new and show you where we're starting off as far as progress goes. So the first item I've put in here, I have three different body washes. I have two that are Sweet Pea. And then the next one that I'm working, will be working on is the Pink Cashmere. These are all Bath and Body Works. So I have three of these lined up to go. The next category I have is lotions and I have several of those. Bath and Body Works, this is a Sweet Pea body cream. This is brand new. This one is the uh, Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom, and for this one, there is a little bit of pink here on these flowers, so that's how I work this one in here. Some of them I had to stretch just a little bit. The next one is their Sweet Pea, just regular body mo uh, lotion. And then I have a Love Beauty and Planet lotion. This is the Muru Muru Butter and Rose Body Lotion, and as you can see, lots of pink there on the packaging. And then I do have a hand cream. This is the Hemp's Get, Bake, Hemp's Get Baked Frosted Sugar Cookie. This is, um, um, I'm gonna use this one up as a hand cream and as you can see, lots of pink all over that one. The next item I have is my Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. As you can see, the packaging on this, it's all pink. But once you open it up, let's see. I think the lid is more of a purple and the product isn't so pink but they do have the beautiful rose petals in there. As you can see, this is kind of a, a more of a purple, but the packaging on the box is pink, so that's why I'm putting this one in here. After a while of looking at all these different shades of pink and going through my collection over and over again, because I did have to go through it several times to figure out which 50 items to add, some of these items were starting to, I couldn't tell if they were a little bit more peach or they were a little bit more lavender or whether they were truly pink. So I put them in here, the ones that I think do qualify. Next, I have my Bath & Body Works. This is their Cherry Blossom Body Splash. As you can see, this is not new, and so I've gone ahead and marked it right here as to where I'm starting. This one is the Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel-Off Masks. I'm not a fan of peel-off masks, so I, that's why I put this one in here, is to use this one up. Um, and then I think I have two more peel-off masks, and then those will be completely out of my collection. The next item is my Clarisonic Radiance Foaming Milk Cleanser. This is a wonderful face cleanser, not cruelty free. I did use it two or three times and then stopped using it and started working on others, not sure why. So this is where I'm starting. Of course, I'm trying to use all of these products up to completion across the year. That's my goal for all of them. The next thing is my Trader Joe's Ginger, it's Grapefruit Ginger Sugar Scrub. This one I have used a few times. It is right here. I'm thinking it's really hard to see even holding this up to the light because the product itself is pretty clear. 
so I'm guessing that's about right where I am. I have uh, the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil that I'm putting in here. This is brand new. And then I have the Drunk Elephant. This is our Glycolic Night Serum. So I will use this one up. Next is my Clinique Moisture Surge. This is their 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. This one I passed over several times as I was looking for pink things, but it wasn't until I realized that inside this is actually pink. So that's why this one is being put in here. So like I said, it did take me several times to go through and figure out um, everything that qualified that I could actually put in here. Let's see, I have this by Glam Glow. This is their Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I don't know if this one says Nude Glow. I don't know if they have different um, tone colors or what have you, but that's what this one is called. I have two of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This one I'm putting in because it is pink grapefruit. And then this one is their regular one, but as you can see, it's a special edition one. If it'll focus, it has all these different um, celebration things on here, balloons, confetti, everything, and several of those items on here are pink. I don't know if this was for like an anniversary that they hit or something. It says 10 on here. Maybe it's their 10 year anniversary. I don't remember what it's for, but that's how I uh, rolled this one into the project. Next, I have a perfume. This is the Clean Skin, and as you can see, the words on there are pink. And then I have two items here that I'm counting as one. I did just finish up one of these. This is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Wrinkle Recode. These have pink on there. I don't like using this at all as a serum, but instead I use this to take my makeup off and to help, um, to help melt it before I wipe it off with a cloth. So these count as one item because they are um, sample sizes. Next, I am putting in a pink nail polish. This is the OPI Nail Lacquer, and I believe this is in the shade Suzy Nails New Orleans. Now, it is up to here. I have used this once, but I only painted four nails. Like I was doing a, a I did my nails for Valentine's Day in different shades, and so I used this one on four different nails, and other than that, this is brand new. I do have one item because I was running out of pink things in here and uh, this is the Ulta Beauty Rosé All Day Bath Bomb. One use and this will be gone, but like I said, it was hard to find 50 items. And the next item I have is the Glam Glow Super Serum Six Acid Refining Treatment. As you can see, it has pink on the packaging right here and on the top. And I, when I open it up, I don't believe there's any pink packaging on the actual item. No, there isn't but there is pink on here, so that's why I'm putting it in. So I believe, nope, I have missed one. This I am putting in because I'm trying to get away from using makeup wipes, and I use them when I put my makeup on. I use it to clean my brushes for my, like my liquid eyeliners and things like that, sorry, cream eyeliners, and I'm almost out of those, so once those are out, I wanna roll this in and use this up. This is the brush bath, and I'm gonna start using this to be cleaning my brushes. I did get this several months ago, probably at least nine months ago. Used it a couple times, and I've stopped using it, so I'm putting it in here so that I can finish it up. This isn't my favorite product to use, but I am starting off right here. And looking over, I think that's all 25 items. I don't think I've missed anything. So let me clear this all off and I'll be right back with all of the makeup items I'm rolling in. Okay, I'm back with the makeup items that I'm going to be working on. The first two items are the same. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist in Starberry. So I have two of these. And uh, I also have another setting spray. This is a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in Rose. And as you can see, that is pink as well. I do have a highlighter. This is brand new. This is by Wet n Wild. This is in Blossom Glow. And as you can see, hopefully, it does have a pink sheen to that highlighter. Like I haven't even taken the stickers off. So I haven't even swatched this yet, but that's why this one is going in. And then a brand new blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Pink Rose. Again, this one isn't even open yet. 
The next item that's going in here is the only uh, makeup item that I have used before. This is the Galactic Skin Glow Compact in the shade Moonlight. And this has, as you can see, pink on the packaging. The whole thing is kind of a light shade of pink. And then inside is a cream blush and a cream highlighter. So this is two different products for this one. And then I do have two more cream products. These are by Oh My Brow. They're both brow highlighters. They're brand new and they look like this. Let me go ahead and swatch. One seems like it's more of a champagne color and the other one is a little bit more bronzy or coppery. If you can see those right here is a lighter one and that's the darker one. So I'm going to use those up. I will mark these so that you can see how much product there is before I get started on those. I did put in a Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is one of those items. I think it's pink. Could be a little bit more peach, but anyway, I'm putting it into this project. And then I have a Stila Glitter and Glow. This is in the shade Tulip Twinkle. It's a beautiful pink shimmer. And then I have two concealers. The first one is the Jeffree Star Concealer in the shade C0. So this one is brand new. It's a white. I'll be mixing this one with my foundations to lighten them up. And the next one is uh, my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This one is in 355 Vanilla. And as you can see, it does have pink stripes up here on the packaging. This is brand new, and I'm hoping to use up both of those within the year. I also have my, this is the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. This does have, as you can see right here, the writing on here is pink. So that's why I'm rolling this one is. It is just a little teeny sample size, um, but I'm going to use this one up as well. The rest of the items, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 items are all lip products. I am making this a little bit lip heavy. I did think about putting eyeshadows in, but I knew that would just overwhelm me even though I have a year to work on them. So I thought I would go um, and work on a bunch of lip products. The first one is this Be Bella Lip Perfection Pencil in the color 18 Obsessed. It's brand new, still has the shrink wrap on there. I have a brand new this is Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip, and this one is in the shade Magenta Formula, I believe is what it is. And that one is here. I have this Ulta Matte Lip Cream in the shade Vivid. Sorry, they're so reflective, but several of them are shrink wrapped, like I said. This one is a NARS Lip Gloss in the shade Orgasm, which has some pink shimmer to that. I have this Too Faced Lip Gloss in the shade, let's see, Sugar Plum, there it is. This I got as a Christmas gift. It's a beautiful shimmer. I have one of these, uh, this is by the company Fresh. This is their Sugar uh, Lip Treatment in Rosé, I believe. And this one, it's, it's a smaller, it's not a full size, it's more of a sample size. And here is that one. I have a lip topper by Morphe in the shade Jinx. That's a bit of a pink shimmer to it. I have two of these MAC lip glasses. One is in the shade Itsy Bitsy, I believe. It's hard because they've printed numbers over top of the, the um, shade names. And this one is, is it Raring to Go, I believe. Anyway, these are two that I got for Christmas as well, both different shades of pink. I have this EOS Lip Balm, and this one is new. And then for the last item that I have is the Jane Iredale Just Kissed Lip and Cheek Stain in Forever Pink. This is a little teeny sample that I got from a makeup class I went to, and this is how much product is in there. So I am a little bit nervous about doing 50 items in a year. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I want to try my best, see if I can't finish everything. Uh, one of the things that concerns me, of course, is this huge highlighter. I am working on another highlighter in a different project, and also this blush. I'm working on a different blush as well. So I am going to be working on two 
highlighters and blushes at the same time as well as the cream ones as well so I'm gonna try my best I will be back every month on the 15th to give you guys an update let you know my progress if you guys like project pans if you enjoy my content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for stopping by